bam, and we live. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, intro. Welcome, everybody, to Just Us PDX Podcast. Uh, we are doing our first official Zoom show, so it's going to be, please bear with us, because, you know, we don't have, like, a professional mix board and all that just yet, so we just got to make it work with what we got, but uh, let's go ahead and get started. Remember, uh, if you guys want to hear us, you know, support us, listen to us. We are definitely on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, you can subscribe to our YouTube as well. We also have a uh, TikTok working on that, trying to get some more stuff on there. And um, the YouTube and the Facebook are exactly the same. Just dash us, PDX podcast. The Instagram is the longest and best one, I'd say. It's uh, just underscore us underscore PDX underscore podcast. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I messed up on that one, I think, last week. That was that was fun. And then the, uh, dang, what is that thing? TikTok. That's how much we use it. It's like, it's, what is it called? Our TikTok uh, at name is just us PDX pod. If you ever have any questions or anything you want to throw at us, uh, want to be on the show, um please reach out send it to reach out you can actually dm us on any of our platforms uh we have an email <laughs> just us pdx number seven at gmail.com so please reach out uh also we are still supporting black businesses as you can see you know north port northeast portland you know supporting you know black be- you seen these beanies no nah, bro i ain't seen that Oh, oh, okay. That's well. how I make you bigger. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> See, you got to work through all these, these changes right now. But uh, we also have a sponsor, and uh, you can definitely help us by using our promo code at the website for mymelanin.com and use the promo code just us. You'll get 15% off of your order. Uh, they do have a little bit of everything. You get some home decor, some shirts, hats, socks. Um, they got those little uh, things for your your Uggs to put into your your shoes and whatnot. I don't know the actual warmers. Called. The what? Well, are they warmers? No, no, no. So you know how like Uggs got the holes in them. Yeah. Not Uggs. Oh, oh. Damn, my bad. Crocs. My bad. Crocs. Crocs. Oh, okay, okay. Crocs. okay. You get the attachments for the for the for the Crocs. I was like Uggs. Damn, that's the wrong dang shoe. But yeah, they have a little bit of everything on there. Uh, so if you want to check that out. The website again is formymelanin.com and use the promo code just us. So the topics we got, I mean, if you guys have been following on the website or the social media platforms, we have a, a, a list of things we're actually doing. And we're gonna start Sorry. off with the the funny topic, I guess. Uh, that's what's been hitting the internet, going viral since it happened. And it's basically called the Nate Robinson Challenge. So <laughs> last Saturday, there was a you know a, a main fight between Iron Mike Tyson, Roy Jones Jr. Roy Jones Jr. That was the main event. Um, I think I don't. I didn't. No, here's the thing. I didn't watch none of it. So all I seen was like the highlights. You, you didn't watch none of it. I didn't watch none of it. So the okay. link you sent me, I was trying to do it, but it wouldn't work. And then I. Um, I don't know, I was doing something else. And then by the time, like, everything had happened, like, the fights, all the fights were technically over. And, like, I had, like, some other streaming services I was going through. And it was, like, I don't know if it was showing me, like, some old fights or something. Else. It was it was that it was that day. Because wasn't there, like, it was, like, three fights or four? I think it was, like, four. Because I okay. know there was, uh, I watched, I watched, uh, actually, I think it was five. It might have been five. All right. To be real with you, because it was, I remember Nate, Nate and them was before Tyson and uh, Roy. Mm-hmm. And then there was another one before them. And then there was another one before them. So I think there's like four or five. So yeah. Oh, see, so, yeah. I, I mean, man. it was a solid event, though. I'll give them that. So I, I heard about it. Like I heard, you know, Snoop was doing commentary, which I, which oh. you know, that was oh. hilarious. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, I heard so DJ Khaled was there. He came out and like opened or something. I didn't get to see the opening. Um, okay. I came in. I came in like I think like maybe the second or third fight, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, so I watched. I got in there kind of late, and then I, you know, I watched it. But uh, yeah, man, I just want to say shouts out to my boy uh, Nate Robinson. He is from the Northwest. You know, we, we, you know, we love you out here. But hey, man, you ain't exempt from these memes, brother. <laughs> yeah, he just he. Either it's, way, wh- whoever is, lost that, like, remember for. I'm gonna say it like this: whoever had got knocked out was gonna become an instant meme anyway. Let's be, let's keep oh, it 100. Yeah. Yeah, it don't matter who you was. You could be black, white. It don't matter. We was going, the, Twitter was going to have their way with you. Pretty much. I mean, if he would have like not gotten knocked out and just like, you know, lost, that's one thing. Yeah. But, I mean, okay. So the parts that I seen, what's your video, bro? <laughs> is it not working? No, your screen is like dead black. You what got, the you got fuck? a, uh, you got a bit emoji looking. Or uh, uh, like a Nintendo, uh, the Wii. You have a Wii character <laughs> as your icon right now. That's what it is. What? Okay, let me see. I'm gonna see if I can fuck with this or mess with this some more. But it was uh, on like when we started, and all of a sudden, that's what I was. That's what I was saying. We was. It was just on. Um, but no. Um, what were we talking about? We're talking about the fight. But um, so here's here's my thing about it. Like. I, like I said, I didn't watch any of the fight. I seen the highlights and the clips and whatnot. And from what I saw when Nate was actually fighting, okay, Nate is what, five? Eight. eight? About five, eight. Okay. And old boy Dude. was, he's like six foot, ain't he? He's about six foot, yeah. But if you look when they was matched up together, it mm. didn't seem like he had that much on him. Hmm. Like when they're just like standing like dead in front of each other. Yeah, when it was the yeah, when they did the the uh, the face off, but you know they didn't oh. really get to do the face off because you know they got to get had that piece of glass between them. So you know, to me, it looked like yo Nate is you know Nate looks a little bit bigger than five eight. So I mean, he could have you know pulled that tippy toe thing. <laughs> True. So, <laughs> but from what I seen was like. Okay, the knockout that I seen, I guess he got knocked out like what two, three times or something. Or so he got not he got knocked down first round. Okay. And when he got knocked down the first round, um, he said it was the back of the head. So everybody was like, Oh, he got him in the back of the head. So then he ended up finishing out the first round. The second round he came out and yeah, bro, it was it was it was terrible. Yeah, so that that's what I seen. That's the highlight, and basically all you could really see was what I seen was Luke. Was it Luke? That's his name. Jake. Oh, Jake. I keep getting them mixed up. He said Luke. <laughs> Luke, Jake, Bob, Ryan. I just want to be a white boy. But so he he basically kind of like walked him down. Nate kind of came in hot, but it didn't look like he also like. Oh well, actually, it was Logan. <laughs> Man, look at you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. No, um, yeah, it's Logan. Wait, I thought his older brother is Logan. Was it Logan or was it Jake? Hold on. It's Jake. It was. It was it Jake? Jake? Yeah, his older brother is Logan. That's right. That's right. That's right. White. Oh no, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't pay attention to to, to YouTubers like that. I don't know any any YouTubers. But as you were saying, back to the black guy. Uh, he came in like with his head first. So I seen him come in and like, so he had his hands up and then he like, like leaned forward. Like what I seen, he like kind of leaned forward. His hands were dropped below his chin and he just got caught like real quick. And after that, it was night night. So. Yeah, it was, it was pretty bad. I will say that. That was probably one of the worst knockouts I've ever seen. You seen a meme, it was like, you ever see something that you you feel is racist, but it's not? Mm-mm. So people, I mean, there was like tons of memes coming out, but people were like, that one was floating around for a little bit, obviously, because it's a you know, black fighter, white fighter, and the white guy won. So they were like, you know, something feels like it's racist, but it's really not. But you want to make, you want to make a uh, fuss about it? Yeah. So... They did that. It was, I mean, it was a bunch of my my thing personally is like I don't know the Logan br- or the 
Paul brothers. They look almost exactly alike, so that's why I didn't know who was who. But no, they do. Apparently, he's uh, he's been he's been boxing for a little bit now, so this is like his this is his second, second match. Let's say his second professional match. Like, okay, would you consider this a professional like match? No, though? it would be a it would be a professional match. To be real with you, would be some amateur type stuff. Because you know, yeah, like you said, he, he's not he. In order for you to be a pro, you gotta have some fights under your belt. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. that was this because the first fight he did, I forgot it was. I think it was some Asian dude or something. No, it was wasn't. It was um the black dude. There's another YouTuber from the UK. He wasn't Asian. He was named no. Asian. I didn't. I didn't look. I didn't look who he was. But yeah, so it was another YouTuber. Yeah, it was another YouTuber. And he lost that. He did. Yeah, he lost that. Oh man, okay, it's weird because I was like trying to, I was trying to look up, you know, some stuff about it, and they said, they said he won that fight. Well, everybody said that he won it, but I think the judges gave it to the guy. Like, I forgot, I forgot his name. It's like a Cap Psy or Psy something. I'm, I'm not really 100 percent sure of his name, but yeah, he lost that fight. If I'm not mistaken, I didn't watch it, but. I, uh, oh no no! I did watch it. I watched highlights of it, but I didn't, you know, like fully watch the fight to see who won. They just showed like the best hits and whatnot. Oh uh, okay. Well, yeah. Uh, let's see. Jake Paul defeats. In is it in ends? <laughs> I can't say this boy's name. Yeah, but it says it says he won. Did he defeats Anna's son Gib? Yeah, he went by Gib. That was like his little name, whatever. First round stoppage. Oh, maybe this is his third one then. Well, Google says it's his second, but hey. Anyway, but yeah, he. I mean, he's been he's been boxing for a little bit. So I mean, Nate basically just kind of did it. I don't know. I guess they had like some online beef or whatever. They was just talking mess and whatnot. But yeah, the dude apparently he's been training for a little bit. He's, I mean, besides being a YouTuber, he's looking into start doing boxing. I think what he's called out. He's he's, he's taking it seriously. Yeah, you know, I mean, and and that's that's one thing I can't respect about him is that you know when you step in the ring, bro, you got to take that seriously because your life can get ended. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, he showed us that hey, I've been working and I can knock, I can knock people out. You know what I'm saying? You know, so I, I applaud him. I, it was a good fight for Nate. He went out there, he did his he thing. I guess you can say. He what? I said I guess he did his thing. I guess. Yeah, he. he I don't uh, know, but it was it was. It, it, he definitely shocked the world. It wouldn't be the first time he did it. You know, so um, hats off to Nate once again, man. Like, he a Northwest native. You know, I got to I gotta rep my boys, but I'm still going to be posting the memes. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't care who you is. I don't care who you is. You get you, you still going to get the memes for that ass. I mean, it is what it is. It's, it's happening. Over. I didn't really like, me personally, I just didn't really care. That's why probably why I didn't put much effort into trying to watch it all. Even the uh, the Roy Jones fight in Tyson, they just it, looked like. I think it was like the setup, so the ring and everything. Mm-hmm. It was just like it was black everywhere. The ring was black and white, and then it's like like Snoop said, like two you know two drunk uncles fighting at the at the, at the, at the kickback. Or <laughs> it did, bro. It That's did. what it looked like. Hey, oh, like, hey, I'm gonna be real with you though, Tyson. It was looking very, very much like his old Tyson, like we know him. Knock, knock you out in the 90s Tyson, the 80s Tyson, you know. That's mm-hmm. that's the Tyson that we know. Roy Jones, you know, everybody got to remember, you know, Roy Jones is, what, 51? Tyson is 54. Tyson's fighting style is kind of old manish. You know, you sitting and you're waiting for somebody to punch so you can counter punch them or you're walking them down, you know what I'm saying, where Roy Jones is more of the I got to stay on my toes, I got to use my footwork. And I gotta use, I gotta utilize my jab and my hand speed. Tyson, you know, Tyson showed him, hey, bro, this is there was a reason why they call me 
the the the, the deadliest man on, on on the planet or the baddest man on the planet at one point in time you know so i'm excited about it supposedly from what i'm hearing is holyfield is calling out tyson next so we're gonna get a holyfield tyson maybe Man, I think I might just watch that just just because of the what's behind it, basically. Huh? What's behind it? Well, you gotta remember, bro. When they first fought, they never got to finish their fight because Tyson bit his fucking ear. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. So, like, that fight is basically just like a a rematch. Well, that'd be the they did have a rematch, didn't they? Um, I'm not sure. I don't remember if they had a rematch. Look it up. I, I could have sworn I read that because I, I seen that Holyfield wanted to fight. He was like, I don't know why Roy Jones is Roy, Roy Jones is fighting him. He's like, I should be the one fighting him. Holyfield, Holyfield and Tyson. Yeah, they fought twice. Okay. Yeah. So one in. One in 97, and the other one in 96. So the first one was 96. The second one was 97. The third one will be 2020. <laughs> oh, man, oh, my. Bro, it, you know what this is going to remind me of? I don't know if you ever seen the movie. It's called Grudge Match with Robert De Niro and, um, and Sylvester Stallone. There have been so many movies. I don't know. Well, no, no, no. It's, it's about, like, two, like, old boxers who retired, but they still got harsh feelings or whatever towards each other or something like that. It's it's, it's, it's a cool little film. It kind of reminds me of this. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think I've seen that one. But, yeah, I mean, we'll see. It's always going to be something. But uh, I think uh, the other the other fighter basically... Well, Luke, I keep getting his name messed up. But Jake. he's been calling out uh, McGregor. So there's, I mean, there's other people that have been like calling him out since, you know, he knocked out Nate. And so there's like hockey players trying to fight him. There's uh, a rapper. Hey, fight him. I'm going to say it like this you don't want to fight no hockey player. Them motherfuckers fight on skates, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's talented, yeah. fam. That's it's talented. Not, it's probably nothing for them. It ain't nothing for them, fam. Like, huh, the footwork gonna be impeccable. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And we know yeah. they can brawl with the best of them. So, I mean, you you gotta think like, just because you beat up an athlete, everybody's gonna be like, first off, fam, you're not gonna sit here and beat up all uh, beat up an athlete like Nate Robinson and think that all athletes are easy like that. You know what I'm saying? And they're like, you know, we sticking up for our former, you know, NBA player or, or an athlete. You know what I'm saying? Because Boxing, like like I told everybody before, Nate Robinson was good at track. He was good at football. He was good at basketball. That's team sports. You feel what I'm saying? We got a team all in there and stuff. But when when it's boxing, bro, it's different, bro. You know what I'm saying? You got to – you train different. You got to have a different mentality. Well, hey, he learned the hard way. So. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. I think I figured out what's wrong with your thing. Basically, your, your video is just off. Because I sent I sent a request for you to turn it on, but I can't turn it on myself. It is weird. Yeah, I don't know what the hell is going on with this damn app, man. I can mute you. I can chat with you. I can put you back in a waiting room. I can rename your screen. I can remove you. <laughs> <laughs> she said, I can do everything except connect to you. Well, anyway, we're going to go into our Black Business Minute. And our Black Business Minute uh, person today is actually uh, Black Love Hats. And so we're actually doing an uh, interview with him, I believe, next Saturday, I believe. So look out for that coming up pretty soon. Um, but Black Love Hats uh, basically made here. If you've seen the hats... Actually, if you have seen the hats, go to the website, blacklovehats.com. Uh, they got a bunch of different merch out. They have, like, some beanies. Uh, he has dad hats, <clears throat> snapbacks. I believe he has some uh, sweatshirts as well. And so uh, it has, I think, the St. John's Bridge over the front of it. It says Black Love on top. Uh, and he also has a, 
a promo uh, for 10% off. And so if you use the promo Black Love Portland all together, you get 10% off. So check out Black Love Hats online. Check them out. And uh, he is on Facebook, I believe. I don't think he has an Instagram, but I know he's definitely on Facebook. His business page is on Facebook. But we'll be meeting with the uh, the owner of that one next Saturday. So stay tuned for that particular show. Now, the second part of this one was the resale game. Everybody knows that the PS5, when did it come out anyway? PS5 came out, uh, I believe, November 12th or 11th. Oh, so it's been a couple weeks. Okay. Yeah. So when that came out, pretty much everybody wanted to get one. Everybody was trying to get one. Everybody was talking about it. You've seen the commercials, the promos and stuff like that. I mean, it looked cool. I don't play games, so I was like, well, I'm not really worried about it. Especially, I wasn't spending no $500 for no damn console. But it's a, it's you know, it's almost like Jordan's. I don't see point. why I don't I don't see why people won't pay five hundred dollars for it. For the simple fact they pay a thousand dollars for a phone. You know what I'm saying? Like that, con- the console is gonna last longer than the phone. To be real with you. Well, true, but I think nobody actually looks at it that way because a phone is something they use every day. And like, okay, it's like for for my instance, I wouldn't buy one because I simply just don't play games. Now, I'll tell you. if it, I mean, it, I'm sure it probably does a bunch of other things, connects to your internet and this, that, and the other and whatnot. It's probably, it looks nice and whatnot. But the amount of times I will turn on that thing to like physically use it, that's just money wasted, in my opinion. Now, Facts, I'll tell you. Now, if I had, you know, got it, I had a bunch of games, my kids was into, I mean, I know my kids would play it. My wife even said, oh, I like how this looks. It looks sweet. I think I might want one. I was like, no, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> it's just it's just like this advertising. It's like how how they made it look. And like, you know, she watching videos on TikTok. I mean, it, it's cool. It does some like, you know, nice stuff and whatnot. But man, we wasn't, I wasn't about to do it. And like we could have actually got one. Like she was like, because she follows these uh pages, and uh sometimes they'd be having glitches and Oh, you can get a you know get a PS5 for you know pretty quick, but time's running out. She was like, "Look, so you gonna get one?" I thought about it for a second. I was like, "No, I'm not buying that thing." I sent the black uh-uh. one, and I was like, "It don't really matter, black, white, green, purple, blue. I'm not gonna buy one." They ain't got no black one. I seen somebody posted. I think it was somebody probably photoshopped it, but yeah, it's they got a black one. Mm. It don't look much different. It's just dark as shit. Yeah, but I mean, I got one. Shit. <laughs> oh, you got one? Yeah, I'm gonna come play that, <laughs> bro. Uh, hey, I'm gonna say it like this. Uh, this was literally one of the hardest things I've ever, ever had to get as a gamer. Uh, you know, usually I would pre order it, but you know, mm-hmm. I didn't pre order it because I thought, hey, you know, there's gonna be more. You know what I'm saying? And then all of a sudden, when PlayStation released it, they were sold out. I'm just like, okay, there'll be more. And they were releasing them like every like two, three days. And I was striking out, bro. Striking out. <laughs> G- GameStop, Walmart, um, Costco, Best Buy, Target, uh, Sam's Club, um, Kohl's, um, Anywhere that sold games, basically. Pretty well. It, here's the crazy part, bro. There was people who like I've never seen Cole sell video games, so that was kind of surprising to me that Cole's had them. Um, you know, I got it into the cart and everything, and then all of a sudden, you, <laughs> it was just like they they sent me an email saying that all oh, you know your order's been confirmed, and then. Um, I got the uh, another email around two o'clock in the afternoon saying that I didn't get it because it was sold out, but I got hundred and eighty dollars worth of cash uh, of of um, Cole's cash, so I could spend it on you know whatever I want in a store. I think it's like some limitations, so I wasn't really tripping off of that. Uh, what I was tripping off of is that I actually had to camp out for this. 
Like I've never camped out in my life. Um, for a lot of people that don't know, the bundles for PlayStation are going from about well, we're going for about twelve to fifteen hundred almost, which is like two controllers, two games, and uh, the console, of course, and um, like it would be like an accessory, like a remote, um, uh, the charger for it, or you know something, or um, or the camera. And uh, it was really tough to get it, you know. At Fred Meyer's, they had about 20 to 30 a piece. So you literally had to be, you know, within that first 30 to get it um, for some of them. So I camped out. Um, but for the consoles without games and everything, that was a solid $1,000. Like this 2020 is year of the resale. You know, everybody found out like, hey, I can resell this and make more. And uh, I don't I don't I don't have a problem with it, but I do. You know, like it's like, OK, I understand. Get your money. But at the same time, you're not about to sit there and have 45 consoles, you know, or more. And then I got to go and I got to pay resale for them because I can't cop online. You know what I'm saying? Um there's a lot of things like that that have been happening lately. I don't know if you know if you know about it, but uh, Pokemon cards are now making a comeback.